What's going on guys? Today I was meant to be doing a breakdown for My Hero Academia chapter 289, but something said by Toga in that chapter inspired me to make a theory video instead. This theory came to me whilst I was doing the live stream yesterday on Twitch, um, but yeah, let's just get into this theory and spoiler warning for those of you who do not read the manga and don't want to know spoilers after season 4. Okay, so we all know that Twice died earlier on in the war arc after being killed by Hawks. However, back in chapter 228, Skeptic mentioned how Twice's ability could be used to revive Redestro in case he were to die, and that same principle is still true. Yes, the real Twice is dead, and as we saw when he died, all of his clones died with him, so he has no active clones out there in the world, but there is still a way to bring him back. The Myvelin Academia arc gave us a proper insight into how Toga thinks and her way of thinking was reiterated again in chapter 289. To be specific, when Toga admires someone, she has an uncontrollable urge to become them, which is why she often tries to get the blood of people she likes. This was demonstrated in her early childhood when she consumed the blood of a bird that she thought was cute. And then later as a schoolgirl, she drank the blood of her classmate who looks almost identical to Deku by the way. For Toga, blood and admiration are two things that go hand in hand, which is exactly the reason why Twice will return. As of making this video, the people she admires most in the series are probably Deku, Ochako, maybe Mr. Compress, and definitely Twice. Throughout all her time with the League of Villains, Twice was the person she was closest to and she even referred to him as like her precious big brother. Following Toga's own logic of how she desires the blood of the people she admires, I'd say there is no other character in the series who Toga is more likely to have a storage of blood from than Twice. Not only did she admire him, but they spent a large amount of time together and of course, you know, if she asked him, of course he'd willingly give up any blood that she asked for. This is where things get interesting because in My Villain Academia, we saw that in certain circumstances, Toga can use the quirks of people she turns into. She was able to use Ochako's gravity quirk and knew how to use it because she's seen Ochako use it before. Similarly, Toga has seen twice his quirk in action countless times throughout the series and knows its strengths and weaknesses. She was also standing right next to him during the overhaul arc when twice explained his quirk in incredible detail. So if she was to try and use his quirk, it's fair to say that she would know what she was doing. In the latest chapter, Toga specifically stated that drinking the blood of someone she loves gives her their quirk as well. This was a nice confirmation for Harukoshi to include, because I know some people thought that Toga was only able to use Ochako's quirk because it was like a life or death situation. But no, I mean this wording right here from Harukoshi is basically telling us that if Toga admires a person enough, she can use their quirk. Therefore, based on everything I just said, at some point in the future, Toga can consume whatever blood she has left of twice and use that to turn herself into him. Due to her understanding of his quirk and her extensive knowledge of twice himself having spent a ton of time with him, she almost certainly has enough data to create a double of twice. Thanks to chapter 240, we know for a fact that every double created by Twice's quirk also has the blood of the original person. In that previous chapter, we got confirmation that Twice took the blood from one of Toga's clones and then gave it to the real Toga to save her life. So yeah, like I said, it means that clones have blood. As a result, once Toga creates a double of Twice, she can take as much blood as she needs from that double and create an endless cycle in which she can turn into twice, create doubles of him, which then can create doubles, even more doubles of him. And then, you know, she can take blood from those doubles and, you know, turn herself back into twice again. And then it just it continues on and on and on, basically forever. For argument's sake, let's just say that Toga didn't have any of twice's blood. They can still go back to the mansion and just get his body, you know, it's presumably still there. I don't think anyone would have stolen it. Uh, Haw if anyone was going to do that, it would have been Hawks and he's, he's long gone. So if they think of this idea, then they can just go back to the mansion and get his body and take whatever little drop of blood they can find so that Toga can turn into him just briefly and then create a double, which can then obviously everything just starts from there. One interesting detail about Twice's quirk 
is that the clones he creates are simply a version of a person from the last time he saw them. If we apply that rule to Toga, then the twice that she would be able to create would be how twice looked the last time she saw him. Now, the last time she really saw the, the actual twice happened totally off screen. It was before the war began and it likely would have been in the Paranormal Liberation Front mansion. But like I said, we never saw it. With that said, that's my theory on how Toga can turn into twice and then use his quirk to create more twices, which, you know, in turn, they can create more twices and just create an army of twices. So his spirit will live on through Toga, potentially. Be sure to follow me on Twitch for reactions to the latest chapters. And until the next video, peace out.